हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल यूनिक बयो क्लासेस इफ यू लाइक माई चैनल प्लीज शेयर लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन एज सोन एज वीडियोज आर गेटिंग अपलोडेड इन दिस यूनिक बयो क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट इज अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन now in this video we shall continue with the same we shall talk about types of asexual reproduction in this types of asexual reproduction we have here first one is cell division okay first type of asexual reproduction is cell division especially in uh, kingdom protista and monera as you know protista it is having including single cell eukaryotes monera it is including only prokaryotes so this protista and monera this group of organisms will divide by simple cell division okay as you can find bacteria okay a simple cell division takes place which will result in the formation of two daughter organisms okay the parental cell will divide into two daughter organisms or two daughter cells this will takes place in protista and monera a simple cell division this is also a type of uh, sexual reproduction next we have second one binary fission binary fission a process in which parental cell divides into two or more daughter cells approximately of a same size okay two or more daughter cells approximately of a same size example amoeba paramecium so you can find example for that amoeba as we have uh, used this example many a times in the beginning of this uh, classes or uh, in the beginning of this chapter so you have here uh, amoeba amoeba with the nucleus it do also have cytoplasm with other organelles are also present but we are focusing only on nucleus and the structure of amoeba now this amoeba when it is undergoing a sexual reproduction amoeba will start to get divide into two daughter organisms it starts with the karyokinesis hope you remember karyon means nucleus kinesis means division so there is a division of nucleus first the nucleus which is present at the center in the parental cell now it has started to get divide in the next stage what you can find totally this nucleus has been divided into two daughter nucleus then you can find in the next stage the cytoplasm here cytoplasm what it is present that cytoplasm will divide first karyokinesis then comes cytokinesis then what it results it results in the formation of two daughter cells okay so it has resulted in the formation of two daughter cells in binary fission bi means two okay a process in which parental cell divides into two or more daughter cells which are approximately of a same size example amoeba paramecium hope you understood this next you have about budding budding is a process in which a new individual develops a small outgrowth on the surface of a parent okay so you can find example we have given it as yeast that yeast is nothing but a single celled organism it is unicellular okay when they are together it forms a multicellular anyhow actually it is unicellular this is a parental cell this is a vacuum and we have shown a nucleus now this parental cell slowly starts to form a small outgrowth on that that outgrowth will develop into something like this now this outgrowth in that you can find nucleus starts to move towards that outgrowth and nucleus starts to divide as we have shown earlier karyokinesis here similarly you can find karyokinesis also takes place in this okay the outgrowth will grow and a nucleus will divide both the nucleus has been divided one nucleus is present in this outgrowth and another one is present in the parental cell later as it is going to develop this outgrowth will get separated which means it undergoes cytokinesis okay cytoplasm will divide and there is a formation of small bud and this is a parental cell okay then you might have seen the structure of yeast something like this okay yeast it might be having this kind of structures hope you remember okay because it appears here because it forms a buds on that and that bud it can grow on the same parental body or sometime it can get detached and grow into a new individual okay there are chances that it can grow on the same parental body something like this which appears like a multicellular but it is not a multicellular but sometimes it can get detached from the parental body and grows into a new individual okay so this is what budding a process in which a new individual develops a small outgrowth 
on the surface of the parent is it a small outgrowth on the surface of the parent that we call it as budding example yeast this is the third type of a uh, sexual reproduction with this we have here a sexual reproductive structures also this asexual reproductive structures also comes under asexual reproduction uh, but this asexual reproductive, reproductive structures have been given separately so we shall discuss about those okay in asexual reproductive structures first one is zoospores the name itself shows here asexual reproductive structures means the structures which are used in asexual reproduction which are produced by single parent not two parents okay so the asexual reproductive structure is zoospore produced by whom by chlamydomonas and aquatic fungi chlamydomonas is what it is an algae it is a unicellular algae okay this is a chlamydomonas you hope you can find this structure this is a chlamydomonas it do have it will be something actually like this okay chlamydomonas is like this but can you find when it has started to produce these spores these spores are released from this the external part is getting open so that the spores which are produced inside are released out now why these are called as zoo spores zoo means animal as you know whenever you are going for a zoo you are going to find animals inside that so zoo means animal so here what is the special feature of animal is movement they can move so you can find these have flagella zoo spores have flagella they are able to move they are motile zoo spores are motile zoo spores are flagellated okay they do have flagella they are motile how they are motile because they do have flagella so chlamydomonas it is having a sexual reproductive structure what zoo spore this zoo spore is what it is a sexual reproductive structure which is motile and have flagella and which is endogenously produced or formed or formed inside sporangium because it is formed inside a sporangium so it is endogenous endo means inside is it because it is produ produced inside the sporangium so we call it as endogenous hope you understood zoospores are asexual reproductive structures which are motile flagellated formed inside the sporangium so these are endogenous next second one you have penicillium penicillium produces what a sexual reproductive structure called as conidia okay penicillium you can find this is the structure of penicillium it do have okay penicillium it do have conidiophores these are conidiophore okay on conidiophores you can find it is produced outside not inside as you can find it is produced inside and released outside it is produced outside okay what it is producing it is producing conidia now the conidia which are released these i might get released this will get separated and wherever it gets a substratum or a suitable condition then this will start to grow into a new penicillium each conidia can grow into a new penicillium each zoospore can can grow into a new uh, new chlamydomonas or aquatic fungi okay so now conidia what you will write for conidia it is non flagellated right conidia is non flagellated it does not have flagella if there is a flagella they are motile if there is non flagella then it is immotile okay it is immotile so next point what you will write here we have mentioned it is formed inside sporangium it is formed it is formed at the tip of what tip of conidiophores so at the tip of conidiophores because it is formed outside so what we will write as we said it is produced inside we are writing it as endogenous it is produced outside so what you will write exogenous okay so easily you can get differences here zoospores and conidia these are motile these are immotile it is flagellated it is non flagellated formed inside sporangium formed at the tip of conidiophores these are endogenous these are exogenous okay next next third one you have hydra hydra in that you can find what is the asexual structure reproductive structure in hydra it is bud okay there is a bud this is the hydra 
hydra it forms a small bud over it as just we have seen in the yeast there is a formation of small outgrowth similar to that there will be formation of small outgrowth which will later grow into such a size called as bud this bud can grow on the parental body itself or sometimes it will get detached and grow into a new individual okay now this is exogenous or endogenous please comment it in the comment box okay then you can find one more sponges okay and spongilla uh, their reprodu uh, sexual reproductive structure is gemmules okay their uh, sexual reproductive structure is gemmules this gemmules you can find this is the sponge okay in that you can find there are presence of gemmule this gemmules will be released from this opening that which it is called as micropyle through this opening this gemmules are released out and each gemmule will grow into a new sponge okay so wherever it gets a suitable condition so each gemmule will grow into this will come out something like this and grow into a new individual okay this is sponges or spongilla this is hydra okay this is penicillium and this one is chlamydomonas okay so as i said the question is hydra is producing bud but is a sexual reproductive structure of hydra so whether it is endogenous or exogenous and one more sponges or spongilla it is producing azures Uh, it is producing gemmules and these gemmules are endogenous or exogenous i want the answer of these two in the comment box please comment it okay now what i have discussed today this uh, sexual reproductive structures has been asked many a times so pay, please pay an attention they have asked name the uh, sexual reproductive structures of chlamydomonas penicillium hydra sponges then you have to write this four five mark question in that they have asked something like that and they can ask the asexual reproductive structure called as zoospores it is of which kind of organism in chlamydomonas it has been asked all are very important nothing to skip here budding what is budding okay uh, write uh, give an example or explain budding what is binary fission explain binary fission when they ask explain binary fission you are giving the definition you are giving the example you will draw the diagram this diagram should be explained okay so first uh, karyokinesis takes place then cytokinesis that explanation should uh, should be there if they asked with the explanation same explain budding then you have to explain all this how it forms a small outgrowth how it gets formed then later it forms a bud all that information you have to explain binary fission budding zoospores conidia buds gemmules all are very important or sexual reproduction is important so this is about today's class called as a sexual reproduction if you have any queries please comment it in the comment box so that i can answer your questions and uh, please comment with the answers which i have asked and uh, hope you like my channel hope you like this video uh, please <coughs> hope you uh, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel we shall meet in our next video stay safe stay healthy bye